Gosh, I look pale tonight. Maybe it's all the vampirism. Mm Hello everyone, this is MJ and you are at my channel called Reading This Life. My channel is where we talk fiction, friends, and fun. Today, it's a long overdue update for Occult Detective October, week one, and the majority of week two. Stay tuned. Welcome if you are brand new and welcome back if you are a subscriber. All right, so I'm here to give you an update as to what I've read so far. So I have some physical books. Last week was the first week of Occult Detective October and it was a classic week. So anything written uh, 1960 and earlier. So I chose the Devil Rides Out by Dennis Wheatley. This was my first Dennis Wheatley. And I'll tell you what, I was really, really engaged with this book. Um, it surprised me a little bit because I, for the longest time, I thought it was published in the 60s, but I guess that was when the reprints came out or um, the, the new editions came out. But for 1933... It was really engaging. It was adventurous. I enjoyed the characters. Um, it was dark. Some points it was a little scary. Um, I did the audiobook as well as the physical book. Now, the audiobook was narrated by Christopher Lee. It was a six and a half hour audiobook, and um, I learned from uh, my friend Greg that it was the abridged version. So I don't know what all was different with the book, but from the beginning to end, I thought it was a fantastic story. You know, for 1933, I can see how that would like shake up the world a little bit because we're talking, we're talking about black magic. We're talking about Satanists. We're talking about energy. We're, we're talking about a lot of things um, that mainstream probably wasn't ready for, you know, probably now a lot of people aren't ready for it. But anyways, um, great story, fast paced, enjoyed the ending. It was, it was decent. I'm going to read you my review on Goodreads. Okay. So my review on grit on Goodreads is four stars and it said audiobook with Christopher Lee. I am a fan audiobook with Christopher Lee. I am a fan of high strangeness. Yes, I am. What a fun ride. Written in 1933, I love the creepy atmosphere, the esoteric discussions, the mystery, the preparation, the battle, astral projection, and fourth dimension. My first Wheatley and not my last. And that is true. And that was The Devil Rides Out by Dennis Wheatley. Loved it. All right. And then over at Criminali's channel for his Patreon book club, they are reading Dracula. Now... I started Dracula last year, um, and I just got, don't hate me. I got bored with it. I did. So I put it down, <laughs> but I picked it back up and I finished it and it wasn't as bad this time around. And I'll give you an idea as to why. So Dracula was my commute read last week. My commute reads is basically, I dedicate an audio book to my vehicle when I'm driving, doing whatever I need to get done. Um, and, uh, I, I was up to like 70% of the book, so I didn't have much left to go. So I didn't, I didn't have much left to go. So I just wanted to finish it out. Um, four stars. I know I didn't give it five. <laughs> if I read it back when it was published, I probably would have given it five, but I gave it four. Um, okay. Glad I finished it. A solid, a solid four stars. 
If I read it when it was written, it probably would be my favorite book, but alas, it's not. Will I revisit Will I revisit it again in the future? I'm sure. Enjoyable, but definitely a drawn out slow burn. Me and slow burns, man, you know, we just don't, we don't get along that good at first, but you know, we got to get to know each other. You know, we got to, we got to get to know each other. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I got to know Dracula and we are in a much better place right now. Uh, and I'm glad I finished it. Okay. So those were the two classics that I read for last week. Okay, then this week, I started Fallen Angel by William Hortzberg. Oh, wait. I don't even think I put this in. Um, Already Dead by Charlie Hudson. Uh, started this. This was a buddy read with Criminali. He blew me out of the water. So it's a reread for me. I kind of put it down, but I'm going to get back to it probably this weekend. Um, I just, I'm, I'm going for like other things right now. I don't know why. Like I love Joe Pitt, but... Uh, I think I was more into Harry Angel, so I put Joe Pitt to the side to go with Harry Angel. <laughs> Harry Angel is William Hortzberg's uh, character, but um, this is th this is good. It's it's modern. It's zombies. It's vampires. There's mafia groups. Um, there's territories. Joe is kind of like a vampire private investigator, and he's trying to like you know, um, figure out what's going on with a certain situation and, um, getting himself tangled up in different situations, but it's good. It's good. It's just not like, I need to get back to that book tonight. No, it's not that good. Okay. Then I did a buddy read with Cliff over at Cliff Stark Gems. And this is William Hortzberg, Fallen Angel. This book is fantastic. Oh my God, is this good? Um, saw the movie back in the eighties. I owned the VHS tape because that's how much I loved it. I wish I never saw the movie because it ruined it for me. It ruined, I remembered the twist. As soon as something popped in the dialogue, I was like, oh, and I was like, oh, now I remember it's all coming back to me now. Um, but I still enjoyed the ride a hundred percent. Now, I don't remember everything about the movie. I remember, you know, the stuff that people remember, but, um, I think it's on Amazon maybe. And I may check it out just to revisit. I mean, gosh, you know, Lisa Bonet, um, I can't think of his name. Why can't I think of his name? I can't think of the actor's name. You know who I'm talking about. And put his picture right here. <laughs> but, oh, and Robert De Niro <sighs> as Louis Cipher. Come on. Come on. The one thing I did enjoy in the book were just those little campy things. You know, like the address of the, of the place is 666 and, um, you know, Louis Cipher. Like, okay, let, let's try and put that those two things together. Um, just really, really cool. And I don't know if you saw this. Okay, this is the inside of the book. And this is the other side. So you have like good and evil. Yep. Now the one thing that I talked to Cliff about and like, I think the movie, wasn't it? Didn't it take place in New Orleans? I think it did, didn't it? I remember it being like hot and sweaty and this took place in New York. And I wonder why that happened. I don't know. But I think I would prefer this if it took place in New Orleans just for the atmosphere and the noir and you know the voodoo all that good stuff but yeah solid four stars really 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 enjoyed this okay then then i did start a um an audiobook so there are a lot of occult detective books on scribd both audio and ebook which is honestly really really um i love scribd so much I don't want them to change their format. Okay, and then I actually did something fun. Um, I found John Sinclair, episode one, Curse of the Undead. Just a short novella, and uh, I found it quite entertaining. I found it really, really entertaining. Um, let's see. There are so many ways a person can die. Sooner or later, everyone's number's up and no one comes back, or do they? On a cold November night, a grieving father picks up his hunting rifle and shoots his only daughter in the head. 
The police are mystified. Why was the girl even at the house? Why wasn't she at the mortuary awaiting her burial? After all, Mary Winston had been declared two days before. The incident is only the first in a series of mysterious attacks in a small Scottish town of Middlesbury. Dead bodies go missing. A cemetery caretaker is devoured alive. An ancient curse is about to be unleashed. Detective Chief Inspector John Sinclair works for Scotland Yard's Special Division. An elite unit that deals with extraordinary cases. It was really, really good. Um, I don't know when this takes place. This was published in 2015. But I think there's also John Sinclair that goes back to the 70s, which is really cool. Um, but it was just something, it was like a palate cleanser, you know, just something different. Um, you know, it only took me an hour to get through it. But, um, and this is by, is it by Gabrielle Conroy? Gabrielle Conroy. Um, and I'm going to give it four stars because I, I enjoyed it. And hey, life's all about variety, right? It's a spice of life. Gosh, I look pale tonight. Maybe it's all the vampirism. Mm. Mm. <laughs> okay. Now, week number three of Occult Detective October is coming up. Oh, wait. What else am I reading? Hold on. Mm. Because now we're in modern, modern, um, modern week. <laughs> so William Hortzberg counts for post-1960. And I am starting, I was starting this today and then I left my Kindle at home so I wasn't able to pick it up. But it is Vinnie DeSoth, Jobbing Occultist. So I may try to get through this. Um, it says, Cut Price Conjuring and Inexpensive Exorcisms, No Appointment Necessary. And that's by I.A. Watson. Doesn't that look cute? Vinnie DeSoth. So, yeah. So, um, I'm going to be reading that. And then this week coming up, I'm actually not sure what I'm going to read yet. I'm probably going to pick Saturday or Sunday, but it is going to be, um, diverse authors or characters. Uh, I have one or two things picked out on Scribd already. And I have one or two things um, for my Kindle. So, um, probably on Sunday, I'm going to come back and let you know what I'm going to be reading. Okay. I have so many videos to get caught up on guys. It's not even funny. Life has just been life. So, um, occult detective October. I hope you are all enjoying it. Oh, also the, um, follow up to fallen angel is angels inferno and, um, oops, sorry. Angels inferno. And um, I'm probably going to save this until the Read What You Own Challenge. It's a, it's a chunk, but I think I'm going to get through it because Fallen Angel was a really, really fast read for me, which was good. I think I got through it in like a day and a half or something like that. Um, so yeah, I really just love the genre of occult detective fiction. Comment down below and let me know what you're reading, what you're planning on reading, what you've read or what you'd like to tap into reading. Um, yeah, so let's keep reading. We have a whole, still a whole half of a month left. It is spooky season at its finest. I hope you are all doing well. Make sure that you are taking care of yourself so you can take care of others. And I will see you in my next video, whether that be sooner or later. So until next time, everyone, goodbye for now. Happy reading. <laughs>